Hello there. As you probably know by now, I'm Tom Chick. We are here at my dining room table on uh, March 29th, 2020. Man, in a way, that seems like a long time. Longer than I would have expected. Also, in a way, it seems like it hasn't been very long at all. Let's go over to the dining room table. I showed you a little bit of the setup for a game called Aftermath yesterday. I then turned off the cameras and played a mission, which is a series of, uh, I guess, pages. It's called a, a book advent adventure book game. Uh, and I got to the end. Uh, I succeeded at the mission. And before I do the intermission colony management stuff, uh, I stopped and I'm gonna show it to you right now so you can get a sense of the overall progression that happens in this game. And then maybe tomorrow, uh, March 30th, we'll uh, actually look at some actual uh, gameplay. So there's an actual game here. It uses this cute little deck of cards. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll show something of that tomorrow. And then on the 31st, uh, I don't want him to hear, but we've got special plans to send off Calendar Bear and to thank him for his service. So come on by on the 31st for that. Uh, all right, let's go to the dining room table. Let's look at colony management in Aftermath. Yesterday, you saw me set up for a primary and a side mission. I have since done both of those missions and actually, as I mentioned, succeeded at both of them. Uh, now that I've done that, uh, I have returned to my base here at Abigail Lane. So here's where our base is. Uh, yesterday, just to sort of update you on what happened, we moved here. And on E Street, I ran into a bunch of little mice and I had the option to go up and uh, make nice with them. Be friendly and say, hey, come, come join the, the colony. They would have been part of my population. I would have gotten new mice added to the population dial. Uh, my communicator mouse ringer right here, uh, he, she, is the one who's good at communication roles. Basically, she's got the most charisma rolled a critical fumble at the very first mouse she tried to talk to. The worst possible roll you can get. And I guess I'll show you guys the way the dice work when we get into gameplay later. But the worst possible roll, like snake eyes, basically. Like those are, those are the odds right there. Of course, it's 50-50 chance anytime you roll dice that you're going to get snake eyes. I can explain that to you later. Uh, but that's what happened. Uh, so E Street did not go well. We then came down here to gutter doom. Uh, gutter Doom. So I mentioned before the game Stuffed Fables, which is the first iteration of this adventure book series. Super precious, super for kids. Uh, and I was a little concerned that Aftermath might be like that as well. Well, in Gutter Doom, I am actually suitably happy with how dark it was. And I don't mean uh, lighting wise, in terms of tone. Then we came down here to Chandeliers, which is the goal for our mission. And what happened there is it did introduce some new mechanics for driving a boat around in a current. Uh, we fought a bunch of roaches, which is good because this side mission here, Exterminators, uh, was going to succeed only if we turned up the encounter for roaches or scorpions. So we accomplished the side mission. The goal of scouting a house. So here in chandeliers, we accomplished that as well. And the last thing we did was exit the page uh, of the final uh, part of the scenario that we did uh, for chandeliers. So what I want to do now is when you exit the page, you don't have to walk back to base. It instantly teleports you and then you do the colony management stuff. I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, by flip. Oh wait, how do I know where to start? Oh yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, I forget. Right, right here. So for the side mission, we're going to read entry 124. Uh, those numbers simply mean you turn to that page. And on that page, 100, we will read 24. 
Oh, good. Okay, so good. Uh, yeah, I was concerned about. Eh, is there a bunch of flavor text? Do I want to read that? Uh, do I want to waste you guys' time with that? No, no flavor text. Very straightforward. Look, you have the exterminator's prevention during the event step, which we're about to do, of this mission's colony phase. Uh, go to step two of the colony phase. All right, tells us to do that. Uh, and we're also going to read entry 9911 for succeeding the main mission. 9911. All right, banish this mission card. So this is now out of play. We're gonna put it in the banish box. Uh, if all three house hunting mission cards are now in the banish deck, read the following. Otherwise, skip to page 101. Oh, okay, yeah, so we still have two main missions for housing, so don't read that. I hope you guys weren't reading ahead. Uh, what is it? Uh, skip to page 101. So page 101 is where you will be referred to after every mission. And you can see here the steps of the colony, colony management phase. Oh yeah, so the first step was, so side mission. Now we look that up. Now we see that we have the exterminator's prevention, which I actually could have told from here. When you do the exterminator's mission, it says, where did it go? Yeah, defeat, this in, defeat one of the encounters. Uh, this will gain you the exterminator's prevention. Not entirely sure what that is. I, I have an idea, but uh, I don't know for sure. Uh, okay, so that's the side mission. Uh, we did not find a clue over here on the panel. You will see, just to sort of check in. Uh, we got a ton of food. Look at all that. We uh, are flush with food. Are you hungry? You want anything to eat? I can help you out here. Uh, no change to morale. I think we got two mice to join us at a certain point. Uh, scrap. I don't like that. Eight points of scrap is not a lot, especially because I was hoping to build. I'm going to flip over here to this page. Where's the building menu? I wanted to build a workshop. Yeah, so here are the different buildings. I wanted to build a workshop, but a workshop costs 15 scrap, and I sure don't have 15 scrap. And what a workshop will let us do is equip these broken items, well, and, and also items in our colony box, without paying the scrap cost. One for each character. And if you want more than one, then you have to pay the scrap cost. So unfortunately, with only eight scrap, uh, yeah, I think on the next mission, I'm just going to, again, not spend it and hopefully get at least seven scraps so we can build that workshop. We can't do that right now, unfortunately, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So uh, the, at any rate, we didn't find a clue. As I mentioned before, the clues are a campaign progression mechanic. Uh, and we didn't manage to advance it during this mission. Uh, event. Event step, okay, here you go. This is the thing I wanted to show you guys, which is pretty cool. While the characters are away on a mission, the colony is vulnerable. Subtract the time allowance listed on your mission card from the value on the dial, on the campaign di uh, dashboard. The difference is the number of events. So if we look over here, uh, if you recall, on uh, three turns or time units or clock increments is what is allowed for this mission. All of the main missions will have that sort of time limit. You will note here we took five turns to do it. Now if you watched me yesterday I incorrectly turned that dial up before we even went on the mission. The dial begins at zero and as you do various things such as resting or moving to different places you push that dial up. We had three turns we, uh, as our time allowance, we took five turns. So we are now going to resolve two events. Uh, to resolve an event, this is an encounter deck, and here are the cards that we drew during uh, our mission. Uh, there was another encounter that was set up according to instructions on the adventure book. Uh, encounters will have a name and they have instructions about what creatures you encounter. During the event phase, we draw from the encounter deck for each point of time we went over the allowance. So I'm going to draw two encounters from the encounter deck, and then we come over here, 
And on this event step page, you'll see they're numbered 1 to 27. We look up the number uh, on the encounter card and something will happen that is thematically related to that encounter card. For instance, this is kind of cheating, but I'll show you now. Crawling threat is the encounter you draw to meet a bunch of roaches. If we were to draw that during the event phase, uh, yeah, there you go, roaches. There's an event here where roaches attack you. Uh, that's not gonna, well actually I don't know what's gonna happen to us because you'll note on a one to three. So there are encounter cards two and three that might be in here and the roaches might attack us. So at any rate, let's find out. Here we go, I am flipping over. Oh, that's a good one. It is safe for now. Uh, all right, so that's basically when you draw that during a mission, uh, it's an all's quiet. Uh, it's number nine. We come down here to number nine, the event. Several births coinciding with a wedding announcement have the colony feeling celebratory. Uh, challenge minus two. Oh, right, right. So we lose two food. Why would we prevent it? Because we do have a mender's hut. If you have either, oh, right, 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 so that's a bonus. Oh, sweet. All right, so we're gonna lose two food, but because we have a mender's hut, I did build it, we're gonna get three new mice. Oh, right, there's the new births, and morale goes up too. Everybody loves a wedding. So we come over here, our population goes from nine to 12, and our morale goes from nine to 11. Our food, which, good lord, we've got plenty of it, goes to 16. And that was the first uh, event that we draw. We are drawing a second one. Yeah, I think most of these are negative. Oh, well, what do you know? Crawling threat. Exactly as I... Ah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm prophetic. I'm a Cassandra. I'm a Nostradamus. Look. So we drew a two, crawling threat. We look at the two. Uh, roaches chewed their way through the plastic. Uh, they made off of the portion of our food. So we were raided, minus two food, retrieve encounter card three from the discovery deck, and add it to the bottom of the encounter deck. Uh, all right, so it's gonna escalate the bugs that we encounter in the... Oh, okay, no, 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 okay, yeah, this is great. Prevention, coffee cans and exterminators. If you recall from succeeding at the side mission... Oh, here we go. Uh, we now gain the exterminator's prevention. Meaning, this doesn't apply to us. The roaches that came to steal our food, we had killed a bunch of roaches, and from that we got the exterminator prevention, and that prevented that event. So actually, that was not a very dramatic colony step. Uh, previously, when I played, I had like five of these I had to draw. I was actually worried we were going to lose scrap. That did not happen. So those were the events. Uh, a roach attack was held back, and there was a wedding, and a bunch of new baby mice were born. Cute. Uh, okay, we go to accounting now. Uh, accounting, you feed your population. As you might expect, the math is pretty simple. Every mouse eats one food. So we have, oh, remember when we had tons of food? We have 12 mice in, oh, actually, they're not all mice. There are hamsters and gerbils as well. Uh, and we have 16 foods, so guess what? Nom, nom, nom. All right, we're down to four food uh, and nine mice to feed. Uh, as we go out, we'll, we'll forage, of course, during the next mission uh, and get more food to feed them, so don't be alarmed, mice. Now, and here again, it's going to be a very non-eventful colony phase, uh, the build step. Uh, I am not going to build anything because I'm saving up for the workshop. Check victory step. As I mentioned before, you win if each of these mice's goal, sorry, I keep calling them mice. This one is a gerbil and uh, I think this one is a hamster. It even says, look, that's the class and the race. Class is a nose that race is a hamster. There's a, a mouse, oh, guinea pig. And a gerbil, a guinea pig, uh, and then another mouse. So at any rate, I haven't met any of their goals yet, so check victory step as uneventful as our build step this turn. 
So then the save step, which is basically where you just put things up uh, and get ready for the next mission. And as you recall from the setup, what we do for this next mission is we now look through our main missions and we choose one main mission and one side mission. Now, if you recall, this is crazy actually. Oh, whoops, these are not missions, these are environment cards. Okay, uh, if you recall, well, you may not recall, you may, might not have even been here. We have new side missions. We also have new uh, main missions, these two right here, which are related to events that we ran into. Uh, basically, you guys want me to tell you the story of this? Uh, in Gutter Doom, there were these mice that were uh, in a lab where the Bunsen burners were left when humanity vanished. Uh, as I might have, as I mentioned previously, this game is set during an apocalypse where all human beings just vanished like that, uh, and so the animals have inherited the earth. These mice in a lab where the Bunsen burners were left on, the Bunsen burners blew up and uh, scarred the poor little mice. So there are deranged, burned mice living in the sewers at Gutter Doom, and the event we ran into. I mean, this is kind of cute, I think. It, it, we, we saw the mice giving a homemade flamethrower to geckos. Uh, and these missions related to those events, we can go down to Gutter Doom and I guess deal with the, the scarred, uh, burned mice, or we can chase after the geckos. Uh, the, it seems to be an analog, and maybe I'm pushing it too far, but it seems to be an analog to uh, nuclear proliferation. Uh, the little mice, according to the flavor text, are worried about these flame weapons falling into the wrong hands. So that's what some of the main missions relate to. Now, I'm not going to do those yet because I am concerned about not being equipped very well because these awesome things that I've been finding, I'm going to show you here the colony box, which you can see we've built a lookout post and a mender's hut. We had these items before. Actually, I found this during the mission. It's like a Lego lookout tower, uh, and it can also prevent certain colony events. We also found these two things. A little fish hook and thread, which you can use to basically break the rules for how the map works, and this uh, razor sword, which does extra damage. Now, unfortunately, in order to bring them along, I need to spend scrap or have a workshop. Uh, I can't bring any of this cool equipment with me because I'm saving up scrap. So rather than push forward on story missions, I'm instead going to do another one of the housing missions uh, next. Uh, I will set that up, I will get a little ways into it, and then tomorrow I will show you how the game actually plays in terms of the moment-to-moment -moment playing with uh, these cards and the little figure abilities uh, and the maps in the storybook. So there you go, that was the colony phase. Uh, not as dramatic as I thought it might have been, certainly not as dramatic as my previous colony phase. Uh, oh, I will have, uh, I've run out of actual cookies, and so I've been relegated to these old fortune cookies that I've had sitting on top of the refrigerator, and I thought before we leave, uh, I would read my fortune. So, let's see, this is going to be so dumb, I bet. Uh, your place in life is in the driver's seat, buckle up. All right, uh, not sure how I feel about that. But okay, thank you, Fortune Cookie. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Come back tomorrow, I'll show you gameplay. And then remember, we're having a, a kind of a party for Calendar Bear on March 31st. Uh, I hope everyone is taking care of yourselves. Uh, and so, this is a little difficult, I know, for everyone. And this will sound a little cheesy to say. But uh, I hope everyone is keeping... Uh, despair at bay. Uh, it's really depressing reading the news, seeing what's happening, being separated from everyone, and I just encourage you all, do what you can to keep your morale up. Uh, I feel a little silly <laughs> doing all of this stuff when things are just so crazy out there, uh, and sometimes I feel a little disingenuous, but uh, 
hopefully this is for you uh, sort of a brief respite which it is for me as well thank you guys for watching all right we'll be back tomorrow uh, and i'll see you then cheers oh shoot a monkey